Hello, this is Mike Kroger, Finale Inventory. In this short video, we're going to talk about automated reorder email notifications. Finale has a great new feature where you can receive notifications when a product is um, out of stock or when it drops below its reorder point. You don't even have to be logged in to Finale at all, so this will happen automatically. So let me show you how this works. We'll go to this demo account here, and there's a couple things that you have to get set up and understand about the reorder uh, notifications. So you need to have a product set up, and that product has to have a reorder point defined on it. Once you have a reorder point defined on it, then if your stock level drops below that, that point, then that generates or creates a reorder condition. Now when you have a reorder condition, it will show up on the reorder screen here. And if you have turned on notifications, you will then get a notification uh, emailed to you automatically. Where, and you will not have to be logged on to get that notification. So I kind of went to the reorder screen here just to show you that there's no products in this demo account that are meeting the reorder condition. So let's go back and let's check out our products here. And we're, we're going to use uh, the jeans here as this, this part number PT0001 as an example. So if we look at the details on this product, you'll see that we have three different stock locations. We have an Alabama location, a Florida location, and a Texas location. And that's also echoed here in the purchasing section on the product here. So we have an Alabama location, a Texas, and a Florida. I've set up a reorder point that's different for each of the different warehouse locations. So for, for example, Alabama has, if the stock drops below five, then it should trigger a reorder point and it should reorder up to a maximum of 15 units. Florida is set at seven and get to 10 and Texas is set at 10 and get it to 20. So those are individual um, settings that you can set. If you only have one location, then you, then you would just have uh, a standard reorder point. But this is a more of a complex example. So let's see what happens. So you'll notice that right now there's not a reorder point because the Alabama location, the stock is at 7, which means it's above the 5. Florida is at 9 on hand, and which is above the 7. And Texas is at 10, um, or is at 14, which is above the 10. So for us to get a, uh, a reorder condition, met the stock level you know at, at one of these locations needs to drop below these points so we're going to demonstrate that by entering in a sale all right but before we do that let's set up the notification how do you turn on the notification so you do that from the application settings so we're going to go from the home screen just go to application settings and you're going to go to the user tab so each notification can be set up differently for each user so if you notice, I've got two users here, a demo QBO user. And notice, this is a key thing. You have to have an email entered in for the account. So for this particular demonstration, I'm going to use this email or this user and email. So we should get the notification sent to myself, Mike at finaleinventory.com. So to turn on the notification, you got to go to the notification uh, section here. And then here is where you'll see each user will be highlighted here. Okay. And we're going to be paying attention to this demo QBO user. And we want to turn on whether or not we want uh, a notification sent to us. So right now they're both disabled. You can elect to get, to get a reorder change sent to you on every single product whenever it reaches below or makes it below its reorder point. Or you can elect just to get a reorder summary, which would be more of a summarized email um, sent all at one time, less frequent, okay, instead of receiving an email on each individual product. So let's just demo this by saying, hey, let's turn on the notifications and we're going to say, hey, this should be automatically, which means it runs continuously. And then you can even set whether or not you want notifications by all locations or maybe just a specific warehouse or a specific location. But for now, we're just going to leave it as all locations. So that's the options you can set. Once you turn that on, then you just hit save now. So now that we've saved it, we've got the notification sent. Now, the, the frequency of these notification, Finale scans your account every uh, a few times an hour. And so it will then notif uh, create the condition and send the email when the parts re go below their reorder points. 
every uh, when it scans every few times an hour. All right, so that's not instantaneous, but uh, it will eventually notify you several times an hour. All right, so now that we've turned on notifications from the Users tab under Application Settings, let's go create the reorder condition. All right, so if we go back from the home, you'll see that, hey, our stock levels are, are pretty much okay. So if I want to look at these pants products, you know, we've got 30 available and we've got uh, various amounts in each of the locations, but let's put an order in. Let's put an order in for three, which for the Alabama location, which will drop this, this uh, stock on hand availability below its reorder point because the reorder point for Alabama is at five. So what we're going to do is go over to the sale and we've got an example sale here. I've got the sale origin set for Alabama. And then let's just add a, uh, a, the pants to the order. So I'm going to put jean, uh, the jeans on here. And of course, let's make an order for three units. That should uh, drop it below the minimum. So I'm going to order three pants of this product. And as soon as I mark it committed, remember that a stock change, or nothing's going to happen until we change that sale from editable to committed. So we're going to actually mark it committed. So now that we've committed this to being on order, then that sets the stock conditions into, into action. So now you'll see that our availability has dropped below our quantity on hand. And you'll notice that, hey, it's, it's minus three units at the Alabama, which means the availability for Alabama is going to be a technically a four. So we can check that to understand, hey, did our reorder point actually happen? So if we look at our word screen, look at that. So it does tell us that we've got uh, this supplier and for this warehouse, Alabama, we've got this product, the PT-0001, which is triggering a reorder. So the available at that location is now four because it's at seven, but with the order placed, it drops it to, to four, which means five is the reorder point. We're at four availability, which means we need to create an order, but we're going to get it back up to 15. So between it needs to get to 15 based on the settings that we set, and we've got four available, which means we need to order 11. So this creates the condition for the reorder. So now a notification will be emailed automatically to me, or which I'm representing the demo QBO user. So you could then know to log in here and actually create the purchase order for this particular supplier on this product. So let's take a look at the email. So we should get the email in our inbox, and here's an example of the email. So you can see in the subject line it says, hey, there's been a reorder change. The jeans product at the location of Alabama has reached its reorder point. So you can just click on it and you'll see the nice summary email. That's what you'd get in your inbox to show you that you need to order. So there is an example of how to do the reorder notifications in Finale Inventory.